obesity and overweight has led many to seek effective strategies for weight reduction, with exercise being a cornerstone in this endeavor. Working out plays a crucial role in weight management, not just by burning calories, but also through numerous physiological and psychological mechanisms. This essay delves into the multifaceted ways out which working out contributes to weight loss, supported by scientific evidence and practical insights. Caloric expenditure and energy balance at the core of weight loss is the principle of energy balance, which involves the relationship between calories consumed and calories expended. Weight loss occurs when there is a caloric deficit, meaning more calories are burned than consumed. Exercise increases the number of calories the body uses, directly contributing to this deficit. Various forms of physical activity, including cardiovascular exercise, strength training, and high intensity interval training, elevate the total energy expenditure. Cardiovascular exercise or aerobic exercise, such as running, cycling, swimming, and brisk walking, are highly effective at burning calories. These activities raise the heart rate and increase respiration, leading to greater oxygen consumption and calorie burn. For instance, running at a moderate pace can burn approximately 300 to 400 calories per half hour, depending on individual weight and intensity. Over the time, these calorie expenditures accumulate scientifically contributing to weight loss. Strength training including weightlifting and resistance exercise might not burn as many calories per session as cardio but it offers unique benefits. It increases muscle mass which in turn elevates the resting metabolic rate. Muscle tissue is metabolically more active than fat tissue, meaning that even at rest, a person with more muscle burns more calories. This effect known as the afterburn or excess post-exercise oxygen condensation means that the body continues to burn calories after the workout as it recovers and repairs muscle tissue. High-intensity interval training involves alternating between sad bursts of intense activity and periods of rest or lower-intensity exercise. This method has gained popularity due to its efficiency in burning a high number of calories in a certain time frame. High-intensity workouts can significantly elevate heart rate and keep it high during the recovery periods, leading to substantial caloric burn both during and after the workout due to metabolic and hormonal adjustment. Exercise induces various metabolic and hormonal changes that facilitate weight loss. It enhances insulin sensitivity, allowing cells to utilize glucose more effectively and reducing fat storage. Improved insulin sensitivity is particularly beneficial for individuals with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes conditions often associated with obesity. Moreover, exercise influences the secretion of hormones such as leptin and ghrelin which regulates hunger and satiety. Regular physical activity can help lower leptin resistance, making the body more responsive to satiety signals and thus reducing overeating. Concurrently, exercise tends to lower ghrelin levels, curbing appetite and assisting in maintaining a caloric deficit. Muscle preservation and fat loss, while dieting alone can lead to muscle loss along with fat loss. Incorporating exercise helps preserve lean muscle mass. This is crucial because muscle mass not only supports a higher metabolic rate but also contributes to overall strength and physical function. By maintaining muscle mass during weight loss, individuals are more likely to achieve a favorable body composition characterized by a higher proportion of lean mass to fat mass. Psychological benefits of exercise are significant and can indirectly support weight loss effort. Regular physical activity has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression, anxiety and stress, all of which can contribute to emotional eating and weight gain. 
Exercise stimulates the release of endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones, which enhance mood and overall well-being.